Hello, and we're back in Silent Hill Fault in the Room. We're now about to return, hopefully for the last time, to Building World. It's a boss I totally forgot about. <laughs> Has been a while. It's one of those things where it's like, it's a boss and a puzzle? A boss puzzle. She looks about as hurt as she was last time, which is pretty hurt, but, uh, yeah. Because maybe you're supposed to leave her here. I think this is the trouble while I'm, why I'm having such trouble with the game. I think when I first played it for the very first time, many, many moons ago, I probably got the negative ending, the, the ending that you get if Eileen gets hurt, basically. I think I got that the first time. It's common the first time, because you don't... You don't know, know where don't to leave know her. About all the metrics, it's like for the metrics for getting the alternate endings in Silent Hill 2, there some of them are quite weird little things that you don't do when you're playing a game. Egg. Not to to give any spoilers, I don't think I did. If don't watch played... our let's uh, let's play Silent Hill 2. It's very good. <laughs> yeah, so if you've played Silent Hill 2, you'll probably know what I'm talking about. I'd recommend watching ours. So it's in widescreen, you know. <laughs> Plug, 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 plug. It's not as good as this. Why don't we just wait for Eileen to catch up again? I mean, our Let's Play is not as good as this. Much better techniques we use in this one. Right, through here again. We're going to whack each of them to find out which is the true one. I think I was up to this one. I probably wasn't. I think I'm thinking of the other way around. Wait, wasn't that around the other side? Probably. Yeah, you did this side first, because you read the door and then hit the, those two. So I've done that one anyway. There's nothing wrong with process of, sort of, sensible process of elimination. Oh, yeah, take that medicaid. Ah, I'm onto something. I'd really like it if you stopped uh, doing that. <laughs> well, so hitting the middle one in a certain way will hit more than one? Because it's the one. That's an interesting effect. I'm it hoping is, she's um, just reacting to me, though. I'm not sure. I think there's a certain amount of, oh, I give up at this point with her. <laughs> might be interesting. And interesting, not necessarily something they should ever do, but like a two-player Silent Hill, but proper cooperative two-player. Could that work? Yeah, they called it Book of Memories. Yeah, not not in that <laughs> style. The door, oh, the lock opened rather than the door. Same difference. Yes, I know what you mean. Uh, yeah, um, yeah. yeah, I mean, I, I don't see why it couldn't work. On the other hand, I also think horror works better as a single-player experience. Yeah, it sort of has that alone in the dark with the volume up. So here we are, outside of the, the sort of hel hel helical Calical. staircase. <laughs> it's just black, but we still have these very strange tableaus. If anything, it's clearer here than last time, because it's less foggy. So that looks like hospital equipment. A bit, kind of, I think. It's just sort of scaffolding, scaffolding. Actually, in a sense, this one's a bit less interesting so yeah. far, isn't it? It looks like it's changing colour as we go down. Is it? That's cool. The, the outside looks kind of red. Not that I'm a good indicator of colour. That's just a Because there's nothing in these rooms. Ah. Sorry. Don't yeah, they're not quite as horrible, you know, it's, there's no twitching bloody corpses or dolls or... Oh, there was something at the bottom there, I spied with my eyes. Uh, we're at the sort of halfway bit with a portal, do we want to portal? That was much longer, to the halfway point. Do we want to portal through or are we good? I think we're good, to be honest, we've got all the stuffs. Yeah, all right. And yes, it looks different down there. It looks like it might be the bottom. 
Oh, it's looking in the distance there. That's what I saw from the top there. Those giant doll heads in it, sort of a... Wagon. Carnival style wagon thing, yeah. Oh, there's something. Oh yes, we've got a little baby doll sort of twitching. It's a dancing baby doll with a fishy head. Yeah. Right. So we've reached the bottom. Which looks an awful lot. What room is that? Is that our room? That's, That's our room. 302. Is there anything else in here? Oh, we can also see a book on the floor there. It's quite interesting that it looks like you're in some sort of wasteland almost. Especially with the sound cues as well. The wind. Scared. I'm scared as well. Did you just sneeze? I love it when she sneezes. <laughs> Cool. Anyway. Let's have a read of this. There's a diary on the ground. There's a lot of them around in Silent Hill, isn't there? What does it say? It says... I had that weird dream today. The one with the man with the long hair and coat. He was crying and looking for his mother again. I saw that man with the coat ten years ago at this apartment. He was going up the stairs, carrying a heavy tool, an old-looking bowl, and a bag that was dripping blood. I never saw him again after that, but a few days later, the neighbours complained that they heard strange noises coming from the supposedly empty room 302. So I took a look around room 302 and found signs that someone had been in there but nothing odd other than that. But that's when it all started. I still hear strange noises coming from the window of room 302. Sunderland. So I like this the, light as well. Yeah, sort of dislodged light. So that was the super, our super Sunderland's recollections about Walter. The strangeness, strangeness of room 302. Shall we enter room 302? Yep. Oh, this is different. So this is our room. But yep. we're, we're finally in it in the way that we play most of the game rather than the first person view. Mm -hmm. and it looks all grey and it looks all covered in candles. Oh, there was a red bit of paper on that table. There was, yes. Looks like this. Ah. Do you remember at the very, very beginning, I thought I had a record player here? Uh, record player, yes. So what's this? Old picture book and a red book here. There once was a baby and a mother who were connected by a magical cord. But one day the cord was cut and the mother went to sleep. The baby was left all alone. But the baby made lots of friends at Wish House, and everyone was very nice to him. The baby was happy. His friends told him how to wake up his mother, so the baby went right away to go and wake her up. But the mother wouldn't wake up, no matter how he tried she wouldn't wake up. Because the one that he was trying to wake up was actually the devil. The baby had been deceived. Poor baby. The baby cried and cried and cried, when he thought of the mother, he remembered the feeling of being connected to her through the magical cord. Just then, a ray of light came down from the sky. The light was very warm and made the baby feel good. When the baby looked into his hand, he saw that the magical cord was lying there. With the cord clutched in his hand, the baby went happily to sleep. That's very strange. That's our nursery rhymes according to Saint Bastard. <laughs> Crimson Tome. She who is called the Holy Mother, be not holy one whit. The descent of the Holy Mother is naught but the descent of the devil. Those that be called the Twenty-One Sacraments, be not sacramental one whit. The Twenty-One Sacraments be naught but the Twenty-One Heresies. To give birth to a realm of wickedness within the blessed realm of our Lord be blasphemy and the work of the devil. 
If thou would stop the descent of the devil, you must bury part of the conjurer's mother's flesh within the conjurer's true body. Thou must also pierce the conjurer's flesh with the eight spears of void, darkness, gloom, despair, temptation, source, watchfulness, and chaos. Do so, and the conjurer's unholy flesh will become that which once it was by the grace of our Lord. That was the Crimson Tome. According to Monty Python. Tells us quite a few interesting things. It does, yes. I, I make fun, but that's rather worrying. Especially the, the, the bit where it sort of starts talking about the devil in the baby story, and you're like, what? Is that, it's like, are you supposed to infer that the cult was lying to Walter all along? Or but, he knew? Yeah. But let's see what happens next. Nothing. Okay. Nothing. I thought there was a cutscene there. Oh, okay. I see. Uh, there might be one soon. Yeah, so the, the way it phrases it, it sort of implies that Walter was lied to, so he learned this this sort of ritual. Yeah, you see that there? That's going to turn into a good scene. The dripping. Isn't it? Oh, maybe not. Don't. Shut. It's tight. Shut tight. It won't open, surely. I don't catch them, you're going to go through some of them a bit quick. Oh, sorry. Ah, here's the bathroom with the portal. It's a very strange thing in this view. No, 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 we haven't done looking around. You notice that it's all black and white, though, as yeah, well. Yeah, it's very strange. What's that on the toilet? Is that just rubble? I think it's just rubble. Oh, excuse me, Eileen. Oh, there's something written on the walls. There is. Why must I destroy this wall? And we also have the, the gate, gate to hell. To hell. This ain't no technological breakdown. Can we not get in our bedroom? Yes. Ah, ah colour. And we've got... Excuse me. There's the typewriter. There's no bedside stand with the phone. Oh, yes, I feel like there's candles everywhere as well. Lots of bits of paper. Can we actually... It's a piece of red paper. What's with this room? It's covered in blood and rust. This is my room, but what the hell has happened to it? This room, is it really my room? It's in terrible shape. The air is so heavy. My head hurts. Creepy. It looks like a face. What the hell am I writing? August 2nd, Joseph. Yeah. There's one bit. It looks like there's at least three more, if we can read them all. It's a piece of red paper. I can't break down the wall. August 3rd, Joseph. That one was brief, admittedly. <laughs> so that's another one. Do we get more? It's a piece of red paper, again. Uh, when the bell rings, Eileen equals mother's body, blood. August 4th, Joseph. Oh, it is August 4th today. <laughs> well, it might not be for the viewer. <laughs> it's the month of August. Well, it might not be. Never mind. Uh, it's a piece of red paper. The Crimson Tome. Bury part of the conjurer's mother's flesh within the true body of the conjurer. Part of the flesh equals Super's room. August 5th. Joseph. That is possibly laying it on a little thick. Because I think we kind of already got that, but yeah, it's uh, sort of giving you a more overt clue because the super's mentioned the whole time that he has that umbilical cord. Yeah, because remember that bit when Eileen was like, "Excuse me." <laughs> but that looks like that's everything we can do in here. 